What's up guys, welcome back. This is video number 13 in my series on making a mobile game with JavaScript. Today, we are going to be starting our touch end because we don't have anything in there as of right now. So what we're gonna do first is I'm sitting here right at the top of the universe object in the render function, we are gonna go ahead and add one more property. And this property is basically right now, we're just gonna initialize it to the same thing that the chords and real time chords are set to. We have a lot of coordinate stuff here. And we're just gonna change the name to, well, not all of that. <clears throat> Let's just get rid of real time and change it to end. So these are gonna be our end coordinates. And obviously, you know, it says this, but that's not really what it's gonna be when we use it. So what we're gonna do is scroll on down here to our, you know, our empty touch end here. And we're just gonna get rid of this code thing because we're gonna actually put real code in there now. So the first thing that's most important to do here is grab where our finger lets go of the screen. That's like super important. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna name a new variable end chords, and we're gonna set this equal to a new object. And we're just gonna give it a property X and set that equal to the E dot changed touches zero dot page X. And then we're just gonna do the same thing with the Y here. We're gonna do the E dot changed touches and this will be the first and then we'll pass in page Y. So now what that variable is gonna do for us is when we access, the, access those X and Y values, we are going to be getting where on the screen your finger was released. So the next very important thing, and actually we'll just start here, is a variable called diff. And diff essentially what this is gonna do is it's gonna be another object, but we're gonna name this the first parameter move X and what move X essentially is doing now is we want to take the end coords and we're going to do the dot X. And then what we're going to do is subtract the universe dot touch chord dot X. And what that's going to do essentially is remember touch chord was what was set up here in the touch. So what's going to happen is now we're getting the difference between where your finger ended and where your finger initially touched. So we find out what that distance is between those two on the X and the Y. So of course we have to do the Y as well. So move Y, we will get the end chords dot Y and subtract the universe dot touch chord dot Y. So now we have the difference on the X and the Y and we can get exactly you know, wherever it was, you know, if I started here and moved here, then we know we have that distance right there. So the next piece we want to look at is we actually want to run through a for loop here of all the game systems. So what we're going to do, or in this case, the universe systems dot length. And in each of these systems, we want to define two new variables. The first one, we'll just call it X and we're going to set this X variable equal to the diff dot move X plus the move or the universe dot systems at the index dot coords dot X. So essentially what that's doing is it's getting the, the end X value of the system where it was when you let go. And then of course we can do the same thing with the Y here. So diff dot move Y universe dot systems I dot coords Y. So now that we've got both of those values, what we wanna do is we wanna say, okay, the universe dot systems at I we want to say that the end coordinates now is set equal to X and then we'll set it X and Y set to Y. And what we have now is essentially every single system on the screen now when I let go has saved the end coordinates. And so in the next video, we can actually take the end coordinates and then basically tell the system how to move 
based on that and move back or move over to the system that we choose that's closest to the middle, which is how we relate this to our focusing the select or focusing the closest system basically. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching video number 13 and make sure to stay tuned for 14 very soon. Um, make sure to subscribe down below, give this video a thumbs up, and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks.